Okay, I'm gonna come out here and um, do an update on the sable. Um, since my last um, cold start, which was back in February when we had that negative 17 degree weather, um, as you notice, the car is facing this way. Um, I do that now because um, there's no snow on the ground, and there better not be any snow on the ground. It's it's June, and um, I park it I park it this way in the winter time because, as you can see, I have a long driveway, and it slants. It slant. It goes at a little bit of a slant. And after this last winter where we had that thick ice going on, I did that to prevent it from sliding down and it made it easier to get out of my driveway knowing, you know, it's long and who knows where you can go with all the mounds of snow that we had after that big snowfall. I probably wouldn't have been able to get down the, get back down the driveway without hitting anything or just keep sliding, so... But, you know, I did some modification. Well, I shouldn't say modifications, but more or less I customized it a little more. I added this, um, I added this six-piece, um, chrome door pillar kit. Now, I don't, I had triangles, which in the Tauruses, they go, there's a piece here and there's a triangle. Well, I can't use that. They just put them, they put the sable and the Taurus in the same package, so that way it makes it easier. You don't have to... You know, because really there isn't anything, I mean, with this right here, this is an odd piece right here to put. And, I mean, you can't really put anything right here because there's already this chrome piece, so. But, I added that, and I bought this. Now, this was expensive, but it is nice, and it is heavy. I, uh, I added this um, plastic um, clear covering on it just to keep it safe because we park right here in front of rocks. Because I can't park in the garage because there's already two cars that occupy it. But these plastic are supposed to save it. Well, this one fell off. You have to get the right size screws to um, for it to fit properly. But it's nice. I mean, some people say it's plain, but I, you know, I enjoy it. And um, this car tomorrow is going to um, the shop to get brand new tires, brand new brakes. Um, I haven't had yet to had time to tend to this because I don't know how much it's going to be to fix it. Um, it's just it's a pain. I watched a video from a guy on here you, on YouTube, and he was actually fixing this wheel well, fixing a wheel well from an I think it was a 2000 or 2002 sable, and it he said he noticed there was foam in between this wheel well and the piece of metal. And when you get a nick or a, or a stone that flies up from the wheel, it has a tendency to get moisture in it easily, and it ends up it ends up making it rust like this. And the guy at the repair shop said you could put probably a stone guard or something on it. I just wish we could put something on here to prevent anything from nicking it. I mean, the other side's bad. This front here, it's okay. I mean, you know, what are you going to do? It's happening on all of them. I mean, I've seen very few that have actually been good. Um, now, as you can see here, dr these are dry rotting. I, I'd say these have like at least 50 or 60 percent tread left, but they're dry rotting. Now, this car only had 60,000 miles on it, and this is a 2003. I bought this back in 2013. So this car is well over, well, I'd say well over 12 or 13 years old, and it, right here, is dry rotting. Now, I'm guessing these tires were in the front at one point, because those up there are deeper. And I have to get those tended too because I don't really. I'm going to be going off to college in August, and to have to worry about those tires, you know, what it's going to be sitting a while, so it could have more of a dry rot. It could prevent more dry rotting and all that. Now, these here, these got, I'd say, at least 60 or more, maybe even. 
they're pretty deep. I'd say at least 80, 70, I don't know. I wouldn't say 60, because if I said 60 over there, it's about... Uh, this, these are a little deeper. But anyway, I was only going to get... I was only going to put these in the back. I was going to put those in the back. And bring the Master Crafts up here. While a friend of mine, well I should say a relative, is a mechanic. And he was driving this for a couple days because he was home and he said now me I would have never known because I'm not a mechanic and I don't I only know the simplest of things he said that the excuse me that these are not rounded and it could be poor fuel economy too you know I'm me I don't know I have no clue but he said they're not rounded and you can hear a um, noise coming from them when you're driving it with the radio down. So, I'm like me, I would have not, I would have probably never heard it, or I would have not known what it was. So, long story short, I gotta get four brand new tires. Hey, that's fine with me. It's four brand new tires to last me a lot, a while. I'm getting these Mastercraft Avenger Touring LSRs. Supposedly they have an 80,000 mile guarantee on them. So I guess we'll we'll see. Also, I'm getting back brakes for it. Just another thing you gotta do. I don't know how when these back brakes are changed or not. The Carfax doesn't say anything. Because I have that My Carfax app. And it doesn't have when it was serviced last, it doesn't have brake, you know, rear brakes or anything on it. So I don't know. They've probably never been changed. So I'm just gonna get those done. And the front ones, I these are a year and two or three months, depending, I, I forget when we got the front tires done, but they're warped, and I'm not very happy about it because I don't know if it was my fault or it just happened. Well, I, maybe I was going through a puddle and I had to slow down and I got so much friction on it and it was expanding and I probably warped it. I don't know. I'm just wish I didn't have to put them in the front, but they'll have brand new everything ready for college and all that. So this car is gonna be shouldn't need anything. Well, I shouldn't say that. Shouldn't need anything done to it for a while. Um, except I'm gonna probably tend to that sometime soon. Um, and as for that, these rims. If you want a good, if you have chrome rims that you really like and you want to keep them clean. I got this Black Magic Chrome stuff. I got it at AutoZone. And it did really well. It says like it looks like a mirror finish. Now, these rims here, they're mostly all chrome rims have a mirror finish to them. But see, you can see there's kind of, if you look closely, it's all dirty and all that. But if you get those cleaned, and you know, you can see my finger, you can see my shoes and all that. But you get get a good it looks like a mirror finish so but it'll come up this weekend I'm trying to clean it every two weeks because it needs to so yeah this is going to the shop and hopefully it's gonna get new tires I know the tires I'm getting a good deal because I'm gonna the price includes the balancing the alignment everything the installing so they can put the brakes on while they're mounting the tires and it'll be good so all right, well, we're gonna, maybe I'll do a little update after I get to, after I get the um, car back from the shop. Thanks.